Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology, uh, raywaldo.com. Today we're going to be creating a boot SD card and uh, we're, since Windows have, users have a lot of problems with creating SD cards, we're using the live CD of Ubuntu. You just put it into the CD drive and boot the computer and it will come up to this screen. And if we use the Try Ubuntu uh, option, click on the button below it, uh, it will just load the Ubuntu program and uh, operating system actually, and we'll have everything that Ubuntu has to offer on a Windows computer without changing your Windows computer at all. This will uh, run entirely in memory without any change to your hard drive. Okay, so it's coming up, and when it comes up, we will have uh, the Ubuntu operating system. Now I have uh, here an SD card. This is a SanDisk 8 gig uh, class 4. Class 4 is the speed and that's a good speed. 4 and 6 are good speeds. The uh, class 10 is sometimes a little bit too fast. Class 2 is too slow. So this is a... Uh, now you can use the, uh, the little adapter that comes with it but I prefer these uh, little USB adapters they seem to be uh, a little bit better at creating SD cards and uh, working. So what we're going to do is put the chip into the adapter and then we're going to put the adapter into the USB port on the, hard, on the computer. And if I can find the hole there. There we go. Okay. And when we insert it, uh, Ubuntu will automatically find the the drive and mount it, that's the term that's used, and show us what's on that card. Now there are already some files there and one of those files is what we actually want to use. Uh, there are a couple of files that I create and put on mine and uh, that are, are good. Uh, this one is uh, for internal Clockwork Mod and this is for external chip that we're going to be using today. So it's uh, moving these, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, this is the one you want. Okay. And moving it to, we don't want that one. The clockwork mod. Did I get it? Uh, this is the one we want right here. Just drag it over. Oh, it's okay, it's got one. So we just skip that. All right, so that's all we really need to know about that card. Now here's the file that we really want to use right here, this uh, device. And so we just right click on that file and we want to uh, extract here. And it made us a folder. This is the folder that we're going to use. We open that folder and inside there are the files that we're going to use later. There is one clockwork mod folder plus uh, four other files, and we're going to use those. So none of the rest of this is going to be important to us. Now, the next thing we want to do is go up here to the very top, to the uh, dash home icon, click on that, and it gives you an option to uh, uh, type in some something, and we're going to type in GP, which allows us to look for our applications, and this is the Gparted application. We just click on that icon, and all the other goes away and Gparted will come up. Now if you're using standard Linux you must install the Gparted program. It does not come uh, automatically installed. If you had installed Linux and run it from native Linux then you must install that program using the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. Now this is my hard drive. Uh, let me pull in a little bit here so you can see this. And drag it like any other window. Okay. And uh, this is 298, that's 300 gigabytes. That's my hard drive. We don't want to use that. Uh, we would be in bad shape if we did. All right, this is the uh, 7.04, so this is 8 gigabyte uh, SanDisk. Recommend using SanDisk for this. Uh, and so, although we have some files on there, we're just going to assume that that's all bad stuff and we're going to erase it. So we click, uh, right click on it and unmount it to begin with. 
the first thing you have to do is unmount it, which means to safely remove it, but we're not going to remove it. It's just there, but uh, Ubuntu doesn't actually have it loaded to be able to draw on it and see what's in there. So uh, once it's unmounted, there's a little uh, thing that runs along the bottom here. I'll show you in a moment when uh, something else is already finished. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is right-click on the existing partition, and this is changing all the partitions on this hard on this uh, uh, seven gigabyte SD card. So we want to delete that partition. Okay, and so immediately it turns into unallocated space up here at the top. Okay, so we go down here and right click again and type and click on new. And we're going to create a new partition. This is going to repartition the device, and everything here is fine except that we want to use the uh, FAT32 uh, file system. And we just add that. And now there's not much else you can do at this point except now we could have labeled it. Uh, there was a place for a label. But we want to go up here and click on the apply button. Get that done. So we're going to make this new and then apply it. And we're going, we're going to make this new partition that's 32, FAT32, and then we can do something with it. It's a new partition. It's going to reformat it, reformat the, the disk. Uh, this is the same that you would do if you just wanted to clean the disk up. This is exactly the same process if you just wanted to just clean this disk. And once it's finished, you just type close, or click on close. And again, you've got the little thing running at the bottom here telling us that there's something going on. And when it's finished, there we go. Okay. Now we right click here again. This time we want to manage flags. We're going to set two flags, the boot flag and the LBA flag. And we close that. Now since we didn't set a label before, we can go ahead and set a label if we want to. Otherwise it's just going to call it to 7.40 gig. Once it's finished, okay, we'll right click and label, and we can set a label, and we're just going to call it boot. Okay. Okay. And of course, once you do something and the green flag, uh, the green check mark comes up, you've got to click on the green check mark and apply it. Okay, and that's done. Close. And once this little bar is finished at the bottom here, pops up again and shows us. Now we're just going to close that with the X. Now we go back over here to the folder that we had earlier on our desktop and uh, oh one thing that you've got to do at this point now you've got to uh, let me open this up for you so you can see everything. You've got to remove the SD card from your computer. Okay, so take it out. It's all done. Then we put it back in to remount it. Okay. When it's mounted, it's got another uh, window comes up. Now we're just going to uh, left click and box in. Well, it's still moving here. This little circle shows it's actually doing something. So let Linux finish with. The, okay, now it's finished. We're going to left click and box and just hold the left button down and box these five items. And then we're just going to left click again and drag them over here to this side. Okay. And once that's done, we're finished. We can close this. We can close this. And we can go down here to the little device over here on the side over here. Click on that little boot device. Right click and safely remove. That makes sure that all the rights are finished before it lets us go out. And then it will disappear when it's finished. Okay, it's gone. Now we can pull the device out. Okay, so uh, get this out of the way so it doesn't get in our, our vision quite as bad. This little chip now, we can take it and put it into the nook. Make sure the nook's powered off. Put it into the nook. Make sure the, the chip is seated down well. 
Press the power button until it flashes. The next thing we see should be a box. There we go. Now the box says that we're actually booting off of this device and the next thing that we'll see will be the menu for Clockwork Mod. Okay, there you go. There's Clockwork Mod installed and running. Now this will allow us to make backups to my Nook or to restore from my Nook or install new software. This is what you need to root the device. All kinds of things can happen once you have this bootable SD with Clockwork Mod installed on it. Okay, that's it for today. Be sure and check the website for all the links to the files that you need. And that's raywaldo.com. Good day.